American Medical Review is a national platform where science and art meets, where improving and preserving health and wellness take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the healers and innovators. These editorial profiles presented on public television single out advancements in medical treatments, procedures, and services. Chiropractic Leadership Alliance was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to promoting progress in the field of health and wellness. safer. Healing practices and theories have changed significantly over the years. There's more emphasis now on prevention and wellness, and we're more aware of what we can do to help ourselves. Here's one of the latest ideas. Our nervous system, often referred to as the body's control center, is composed of three main parts, the brain, the spinal cord, and nerves. They work together to communicate messages to the rest of the body, but Stress of any kind can affect how the system functions, often resulting in poor health. Ten years ago I had twins and the stress was so great on my back that I herniated a disc and I went to see a neurosurgeon. He wanted to do surgery and I really didn't want to have surgery. I started going to a chiropractor and he fixed my back and he taught me about the whole connection between my body and being well and getting to the bottom of what was causing my problem, not just dealing with what was on the surface. The chiropractic profession utilizes a variety of diagnostic methods to examine and treat the spine and nervous system. But getting clear evidence there is nerve disruption can often be challenging. In chiropractic, we have a philosophy that's based on determining if there are nervous system problems. In the past, we can go by an analysis, what our hands tell us, by checking the patient's muscles, checking the patient's alignment. We can even use x-rays to see if the vertebrae are in their proper alignment or how much degeneration there is in the spine. But there was never a way for us to go by specifically quantifying the amount of nerve problem and then seeing after we do our adjustments and different types of care what our results were. Today, the chiropractic profession is developing new assessment tools that can help indicate negative changes to the nervous system and allow doctors to measure the effectiveness of therapy. Among the newest is a scanning system designed to reveal regions of abnormal nerve function caused by stress to the body. There are three dimensions of stress, psychological, biochemical, and physical. If these distresses go beyond our body's ability to adapt and dissipate, it has a deleterious effect on our nervous system, which means we can't express health and well-being as much as we could. What this technology does then is it looks at patterns of nerve function so that the chiropractor can then interpret them and determine what kind of care to provide, and through a course of care, can make decisions on how well the patient's nervous system is responding to what the chiropractor is doing, which will be directly proportional then to the patient's ability to express health and well-being. When the doctor uses the technology on my back, I can actually see what's going on. I might think I have a problem area, and when he shows me the graph and the computer printout, other areas reflect maybe that I have a nervous system problem, something I didn't even realize. And instead of just being told you have a problem, I can actually see it on a picture and I feel more confident because I recognize that it's helping my whole body. It's not just working on my back or where I think I'm hurting. In healthcare, we see the technology we have now is just getting started. We're so excited in chiropractic to see how future is going to change because technology can only help us give better care to our patients and help with this thing, what we call the wellness revolution. The future for healthcare is to get back to wellness, to get back to holistic health. The technology is only going to help us get there faster. Picking up the phone, taking a walk, driving a car. Our nervous system controls every action, but sometimes it may need a bit of fine tuning. With the help of modern healthcare and new ideas in diagnostic devices, our bodies may once again function like clockwork. Advances like these give us hope for a healthier tomorrow. Thanks for joining American Medical Review. I'm Morley Safer.
Our vision at CLA, at the Chiropractic Leadership Alliance, is to really lead the wellness revolution. In fact, our stated mission statement is world leadership of healthcare and a chiropractic model. So what we are working so diligently to achieve is to, is to go out and educate chiropractors and educate the communities through them that chiropractic stands at the forefront of true health care. That if you listen to the news and you talk about President Bush and all the different initiatives to get a healthier community, you look at the overuse of, of medication in our elderly population and in our children. Uh, recent articles about the psychotropic drugging of, of so many millions and millions of our children that are diagnosed with ADD and ADHD and all these different things that didn't really exist if you look back 10, 20 years ago, but are so popular now. There has to be this voice of reason uh, within this profession or within this world. And our profession, the chiropractic profession, stands tall to, to be that voice. One of the things I think it's important to know about the Chiropractic Leadership Alliance, we're not in the business of selling a machine. We want to sell results. This is why we create a thing called the Total Solution Program, which is a four-day boot camp training that goes with the technology. From 1988 to 1995, I used to sell machines to chiropractors, in essence, scanning equipment, this technology. And what I found is that some chiropractors had dramatic improvements in their practice as a result. Some had incremental improvements, and it helped a little. I wasn't interested in just seeing people get a machine. I wanted to see the practice of chiropractic transformed. I wanted to see people understanding chiropractic care. My old saying about this is this. It's not a machine that gets a result. It's who you are using the machine that gets the result. So in essence, what we've developed is not just a technology, but we've also developed a program, a training program, that goes with the technology to revolutionize your practice. Now with the nerve scan technology, we're actually able to bridge the gap between what our patients have told us and our x-ray and to see if we're getting the proper results. For example, we can pretest a patient, do a scan, and see what the nervous system is actually telling us. What is going on with the musculoskeletal part of the outside of the nervous system as well as the autonomic part of the nervous system, the automatic part, the parts to the internal organs. Then after we do our adjustive procedures and do some patient care, we retest to see were we effective in our adjustment did we get the results we were looking for, and what phase of care the patient is in so we can make further recommendations. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there also is love of humanity. Once again, American Medical Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's health and wellness challenges. This has been a presentation of WJMK.